Hey y'all, it's Meg from What's for Dinner, y'all, and I have another week of recipes for you. We didn't cook too many meals this week because we did go over to my parents' house for a barbecue for Memorial Day. My dad grilled up some tasty ribs, but the first meal we did cook was balsamic drumsticks with a rice and vegetable saute, and I did forget to get a clip of the final plate, so this is the picture I posted on Instagram, and I do post on Instagram under What's for Dinner, y'all, if you want to follow me. First, I added two packages of mushrooms to my saute pan, along with some olive oil, and I seasoned those up with some salt, pepper, onion powder, and some garlic powder. And I let those saute for a bit to draw the water out of the mushrooms, and also to let them brown up a bit too, just before I added my other veggies. Next, I added in some snap peas, which were from my dad's garden, and I added in some kale as well that I had in the freezer, just long enough to brown the peas slightly without taking too, away too much crunch, and also to let the kale wilt down just a bit. I'm going to add in two packages of this Uncle Ben's quinoa and brown rice whole grain medley, and I'm going to let that warm up and get friendly with the veggies. I did add in some additional garlic and onion powder here as well. This rice package was not my favorite, but it was quick. I think I prefer making my own rice um, from scratch versus these pouches. And for my drumsticks, I just marinated those in some Newman's Own light balsamic dressing for 24 hours, and then I baked them in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes, flipped them, let them cook for an additional 10 minutes, and then dinner was done. Our next dinner for the week was actually breakfast for dinner, and I made French toast and bacon. And a little twist on this French toast, I actually used the Pepperidge Farm cinnamon swirl bread as the base for my French toast. And that just added so much flavor, um, and it was just a really delicious switch up from using regular bread. I also oven baked this French toast which made it really easy to get everything done all at once instead of waiting for each individual slice to be done uh, on my stovetop. I do cook my bacon in the oven and I put it in a cold oven and then I set it uh, to 400 degrees and I basically let that cook until the oven is uh, preheated plus a few extra minutes. So while my bacon is starting to cook, I'm gonna start the French toast. And in this bowl, I have about four eggs. I didn't add any milk because we were actually out. I added just a splash of water and that was fine. Some brown sugar and some vanilla extract. So once I had gotten that all mixed up, I just took the slices of that Pepperidge Farm cinnamon swirl bread dipped it in, flipped it over, made sure it was really well coated with that egg mixture, and then I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet. I've got a piece of tin foil just for easy cleanup, and then I've also sprayed it really well with some nonstick cooking spray. Now, once I had all of the pieces of bread dipped into the egg and onto my cookie sheet, I actually just put that in the oven along with my bacon, and I let that cook for about 10 minutes on one side, and then I flipped it over and I let it go for another 10 minutes. The bacon was done a little bit before that, but they came out relatively at the same time, which was really great. I topped these with some powdered sugar. We both had some bacon, and breakfast for dinner is just a classic uh, easy weeknight meal, and you gotta love it. Our last meal for the week was actually takeout. We got some Chinese, hadn't had it in a while. So I loaded my plate up with my crab rangoons, which are my favorite, some egg rolls, uh, sweet and sour chicken, sesame chicken, tangerine beef, uh, pork lo mein, and uh, house egg foo young. That's our usual. So that's it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed.